gentleman from Michigan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Shulman, I got to hand it to you. Five hours under all this questioning, and you've been able to maintain some coolness, calm. But did, did, at any time, did you ever feel uncomfortable, intimidated today, by the questioning going on? Congressman, I've, I've, my goal today is to try to answer your question. Okay, so you didn't feel the same thing um, my constituents feel when they get a letter from the IRS or that I felt when I uh, was reading a memo that said uh, how the IRS deemed educating on the Constitution and Bill of Rights to be a political act. Does the IRS still believe that educating about the Constitution and Bill of Rights is a partisan political act? Um, I, I don't know what the IRS believes, but um, if you're referring to the criteria in the report, um, right. I would agree it's inappropriate. It's inappropriate. You know, can you imagine how I felt as a former school teacher teaching the Constitution and the Bill of Rights? And thinking about, wow, I could be subject to an IRS audit simply because I'm doing my job. Uh, do IRS agents take a class on learning about the Constitution and Bill of Rights before joining one of the most powerful agencies in the federal government? I don't know the answer to that question. Okay. You do teach ethics, correct? I do. Or the IRS requires ethics training? Um, yes. There's but, not, but not the Constitution. I don't know the answer to that question. Yeah, the answer is no. I understand that they take training classes on ethics, but specifically about the Constitution and Bill of Rights, you don't know that. Given their power to destroy businesses and audit individuals, do you think it would be useful for the IRS to require all of its employees to take a class studying the Constitution and Bill of Rights in order to make positively sure that they understand the concept of government restraint created at our founding? Um, I think it's very important that IRS personnel be well trained. Did you study the Constitution? You're a lawyer, are you not? Or an attorney? Um, I, I went to law school. You went to law school. Did you study the Constitution? Um, I believe I took constitutional law, but I'm not prepared to uh, take an exam at this time. <laughs> Meaning, I, I'll answer any of your questions, but I can't promise, uh, you know, I'm, I'm an expert. An expert. Well, you know the First, Second Amendment, and one of my favorites, the 19th, right? You know those. Excuse me? You know those, those I, amendments, I you, I'm not, excuse me, I, the, con the constitutional amendments, you know the first, you know the second, and you know the 19th. I, I don't you necessarily have the Constitution memorized, sir. Okay. Well, they're pretty general. I mean, in, you know, in what each one is. Like, the First Amendment is freedom of the press, freedom of religion, and freedom to petition the government for redress of grievances. First Amendment, right? I really can't recite the Constitution, sir. Okay.